Right, hi lads and lasses, and welcome to Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave. Today it's a little bit more of thinking about darts, it's a question that I've been asked and it's a question that I get asked quite a lot when people have had a go at the Dynamite Dave way and I get reports back sometimes and they turn around and say to me, right, it's great doing it at the bullseye but when I come to take it to anywhere else on the board I'm struggling, I'm not getting the right grouping, I'm struggling a little bit and what I'm going to do today is I've got a lovely little video for you, it's from one of my little tubs of videos which I use in the um, darts coaching videos that I do for people, the actual personal darts coaching videos. And I'm hoping that you're going to find this really informative and hopefully it'll put just another little one of those puzzle pieces in for you. Because trying the Dynamite Dave way is fantastic and you can get so far, some people can work it virtually all out for themselves. But one of the big massive pieces is moving the actual throw around the board for the simple reason is 99.9% is .9 of dart players out there throw differently at each and different, every different part of the board and that's why it takes a lot of players many 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 years to get to a professional level because they're not only throw, they're using one throw shall we say to throw for the treble 20 and something that's similar but quite different to throw at the double 19 or the double 17 whereas with the dynamite dave way everything remains the same the only thing that changes is the body position what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little 10 or 15 second clip straight after this to show you and then we'll go into the little video. So I hope you enjoy this and we'll speak to you again at the end. So when you've got the Dynamite Dave throw and you're throwing at the 60s or the bullseye and you're starting to get that group and you're going to want to know how to move the Dynamite Dave throw around. So we've set this up here now so you can just about, so you can actually see my hips because this is the only place where we ever move from. So we set up on the hockey, we've got the dart up and we're looking at the treble 20. If we're going down for the treble 19, what we're doing is just look at the board at the treble 20 and fetch your body down, keep your eyes in the same position and just pivot from the hips until the treble 19 comes into the exact same view as the treble 20 did. So when you're looking at the treble 20, you're looking at the treble 19 in exactly the same way. So you've got your arm, everything in the correct position, and all you're doing is just bringing yourself down to the treble 19. So I'll do that from the side. So it's the treble 20 up here. And all we're doing is we're keeping the eye level and everything absolutely where it is and fetch everything down to the treble 19 and you throw it in exactly the same manner. So all you're doing is just pivoting at the hips. What we'll do is we'll do that from this side now. So we fetch it up, we're looking at the treble 20 and all we're doing is focus on the treble 20 and then fetch everything down. So all this down but only from the hips and then you're at the treble 19, looking at the treble 19 exactly the same, and the throw remains exactly the same. So that's moving down to the 19s. Moving across the board, there's two fundamental ways that we do this. The first one, again, is the hips. So if you're on a combo shot, so you've gone, let's say we're going treble 20, treble 20, double 16. Yeah, so that's a nice easy one for you. If we're going for a 1-5-2, so that's treble 20, treble 20, 
double 16. We've got 20s, 20s at the top, 20s, 20s, and then to come down, it's exactly the same. All you do is you come down to level with a double 16 and then across to throw. That will feel like really awkward and really strange at first, but in the end, you will know, like when you're at the double 16, you'll know where your body position is because you've been doing it a while and you know exactly where your body position is. So it'll be 20s, 20s, and you'll just go like that, bang, straight in the double 16. You won't need to do this adjustment. This adjustment is just till your body knows exactly where it's going, which it will do. It'll take a couple of months or something like that for you to perfect it, but eventually you will know exactly where your body needs to be. So you'll be treble 20, treble 20, straight down, double 16. Now, if I want double 16 and I'm going for it with three darts in hand, it's a different story. What I'll do then is I will, let me just move back here to the hockey for you. What I'll do is I'm now right in the center of the hockey. What I will do is if I'm going for double 16, I'll move across. Now, we're not, if you can imagine your dartboard on the floor, you move across to where the double 16 is. And then all you do is you're just using that. So you're perfectly straight as if you were going for treble three or something like that because it's straight and everything's straight and you've not had to twist. Double 16 is a cracking example because double eight is just a little bit more arm speed. You're on double 10 with three in hand. You move across to the double 10. As I say, move across to the double 10 and then it's just your dead natural straight throw. And that is how to move the Dynamite Dave throw around the board. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little video there. I just think it makes a little bit more sense out of what I say. That's why I find doing the double-double finishes, especially if I want 60 in the pub um, every weekend when I go out, and this is no exaggeration, the guys that play with me will tell you, if I want 60, I'll go double 15, double 15. For the simple reason is I'm ready, set, and I'm just throwing at one place. So I've set, them, set myself up in the Dynamite Dave, and dump, it's just one, two. If one's on the inside of it, it's one next to it, and you've got two lovely markers for the double 15. Just as much chance of hitting it as hitting a 20 tops. Just as much. Because again, it's still two darts, it's a two dart finish, or a three dart finish. It's just in a different place in the board. And as I've said a million times before, the outside ring, you've got to make it your best friend. It's got to be your strongest part of your game, is it in them doubles. And the more you use them, the better you get at it. It's as simple as that. Right, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, lads and lasses, never a true word spoken. You only ever hear it here. You'll only ever get out of this game what you're prepared to put in. And always, 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 talk to the hockey.